the new type of gear is already here. Is it gear fifth or is it gear not that. So let's crack open this queentalope and examine the new gear. Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. My name is Liam and if I was a gear, I would be Gear Zero Panda Man, which allows me the powers to contribute nothing at all to society except for munching on delicious bamboos. Thankfully, Luffy is a bit more ambitious than I am, as is Echiro Oda, because when asked about Luffy's future evolution in the SBS of Volume 98, Oda had this to say. Will five be a thing? Right now, the enemy we have to defeat is the man said to essentially be the world's strongest. Because of that, the world is in an age transitioning from 4G to 5G. G means gear, right? Job, sure, why not? I mean, G can mean whatever you want it to mean. It is your fictional pirate story. And given that we are rapidly approaching the make or break moment of Luffy versus Kaido, our gear shift will be occurring quite imminently. And very interestingly, unlike Sanji, the groundwork for Gear Fifth has already been laid. That was a bit of a mean joke. So just to balance things out, Zoro is probably a virgin as well. And it's all going to begin with a quick round of, hey, what's that animal and why is it relevant to this discussion? A very simple mini game, the rules of which are as follows. Our protagonist, Monkey D. Luffy Boy, is daydreaming about one of the following three animals. And it's going to be your job to guess which of the three it is. Now, should you guess incorrectly, then your punishment will be to subscribe to the Grand Line Review, thus resulting in consistent injections of One Piece culture being administered directly into your YouTube feed. And if you are correct, then you may have this delightful cookie. But which animal will it be? Will it be this? one, that one, or the other one. Whatever the case, make your choice now and we shall reveal the answer in three, two, one, and bam, it was the tiger. So if you guessed incorrectly, then you know the thing to do and please do say hi in the comments below if you are a new member of the Grand Fleet. Welcome. So why is the tiger relevant? Well, all of the animals in the mini game were Luffy's friends on Rusukaina, the island where he spent the two year time skip. And as a result of those deep bonds of beastly friendship, pretty much all of Luffy's new attacks have an animal themed inspiration behind them. Take his gorilla friend, for example. From him, Luffy developed both the Kong and King Kong guns respectively. Then with his lion chum, Luffy crafted the Leo Bazooka. There's also stuff like Rhino Schneider, even though I don't think we ever saw a Rhino on Rusukaina. There almost certainly was one though, given that Rayleigh said that there were roughly 500 creatures on the island more powerful than pre-time skip Luffy. But to figure out what gear fifth is this, this is a great starting point. Whatever happens, it's almost guaranteed to be animalistic in nature. And Luffy's two best friends that we have yet to see inspiration from are the alligator and the tiger. And while gear fifth alligator man does sound admittedly hilarious, my mind would immediately move to the tiger option, which from an aesthetic standpoint is pretty fun because it's been established that Luffy can, in a process that I'm going to describe as somehow, manipulate his haki in surprisingly ornate ways, coating his body in very fashionable patterns, temporary tattoos really, and surely if he wanted to, tiger stripes would most definitely be an option. I don't think it'll just be any old tiger though. I mean, otherwise why not just make it a variation of gear fourth like Snake Man? And speaking of Snake Man, the manga never shows Luffy with a snake in his gang. However, the anime does something quite fun in a couple of filler scenes because when the anime expands on Luffy's training, they also expand on his animal friends, showing Luffy with a bear, a hippo, and of course, a snake, which was a really nice touch because it gave Snake Man and all of the snakey attacks a clear origin. However, due to them being anime only, it would be difficult to speculate on something like Gear Fifth Hippo Man form, even if that does sound quite phenomenal, especially since hippos happen to be the world's deadliest mammal right behind us pesky humans. Like you really do not want to run into a hippo in a dark alley. That thing will mess you up faster than Boa Hancock crossing paths with an adorable baby seal. In the canon of the manga, Luffy is also shown to have a fox friend who tried to bring him a fish to eat after Rayleigh instituted a Luffy food ban until he could dodge 100 hits with Haki. So there's likely to be animal allies on the island that we still haven't and may never actually see. That still leaves us with tigers though. And Japan has a particularly rich mythology when it comes to such majestic beasts. And mythology is certainly what we're after with Gear 5th, because Gear 4th is fun and all, but it's more about the basic animals. And if we are evolving and elevating, then naturally our creatures should follow. And in this regard, may I present to you the Nue. Now, a Nue is one of the most difficult things that I think I've ever had to describe because it's something of a Japanese chimera, or as I like to call them, a big effing mess. A Nue contains the head of a monkey, the legs of a tiger, the body of a dog, and very, very specifically, the front end of a snake as a tail. In any case, what we have is a front end on the back end, kind of like Fortrix, where his head is the butthole of a chicken. Now this guess doesn't come out of absolutely nowhere because within One Piece, there is actually a devil fruit called the Tori Tori no Mi Moldo Nue. It's a non-canon devil fruit to be fair, but to be fairer, it was created by Oda himself. It was part of the One Piece Art Nue project, which funnily enough tells the story of Wano in an alternate universe. A story that Oda illustrated in the traditional ukiyo-e style, and it's actually really cool. You should definitely check it out if you can be bothered. Or you can say to yourself, you know what? Yeah, yeah I will check that out. 
and then never actually do it, like, like most people. But one of our primary characters in the story is a man named Torasugu, who has the aforementioned Nue fruit. And Luffy needs the help of his powers to defeat the villain guy, who is not Kaido, but is instead a random dude named Lark, who we don't care about because he's even less relevant than Simon. The point is more that Oda is already thinking about this creature, and it's already saved Wano once with its power, even if it was a, a fake Wano. To be fair, even the real Wano is fake. It's a story. And even the Chimera style abomination fits quite well with Luffy. The head of a monkey, because obviously no matter what Luffy turns into, he will retain his own monkey based head. Then we have the legs of a tiger taking inspiration from his tiger pal. And as for the snake tail, well, Luffy already has a well-documented fascination with incorporating snake techniques into his forms and attacks already. The only thing I can't really explain is the whole dog body aspect, but we also don't need a one-to-one -one recreation. Replace the dog part with a tiger and it still gets the general point across, sort of. But all in all, Gear 5th Nue seems to be a pretty amazing option. Here's an interesting thing though. Anyone who has a basic but not advanced understanding of Japanese might have been slightly confused by the name of the Nue Devil Fruit. You'd expect it to be something like the Tora Tora no Mi, Tora meaning tiger, but it's actually the Tori Tori no Mi, Tori meaning birdie, like Marco. His fruit is part of the Tori family. Same with Morgans or even Magorgans, whose fruit instills him with both the powers of pineapple and being a current event charlatan. But why does the Nue fall into this family? Because that's right, the Nue was originally a bird, a kind of green pheasant to be precise. However, even now in its weird monkey, tiger, snake, dog body, it is still considered a bird. As are you, as am I. As is everything, because if this thing is a bird, then nothing isn't a bird. Birds are a very hot topic though, and to say why I do need to plonk in a bit of a brief spoiler warning for anime only watches, I will be quick. But if you don't wanna be spoiled, then head to this time, but for everyone else, here we go. Birds are a hot topic because during the raid on Onigashima, Luffy's new attacks have contained inspiration from mythical birds, or mythical bird singular, I guess. Red Rock and Rock Gun to be precise, both of which are obviously derived from the rock. As in not the rock or even rock, R-O-C-K, and certainly not rock, R-O-C-K-D-X-E-B-E-C, which is, oh no, that was so much harder to spell out loud than it should have been. No, it, this, what we're talking about is just a simple rock, R-O-C. So not only does Oda have mythical birds on the brain, but so does Luffy. So all of a sudden, birds, specifically mythical birds, are pretty damn important. And the other thing that contributes to all of this is Oda's Wano motif of comparing Luffy to a guardian deity, all of which feels like Oda laying the groundwork for this new form to mimic some sort of deity style effect. Which to be fair, Basic Gear 4th already does to some extent because it's a play on the Neo, AKA the shockingly stacked Guardians of Buddha. But something we should also consider is the context of where we are right now. And where we are is locked in brutal combat with an entity that is essentially another deity. So this isn't a spoiler because the information was put out there forever ago, and it may never actually be specifically stated in the series, but Kaido's Devil Fruit is literally a mythical Zoan that turns him into Seri, the legendary Azure dragon, guardian of the East, and one of four mythical beasts that, uh, that loiter over the various directions, I suppose. So Kaido is quite literally a dragon god. And to overcome that, I feel like he need to do a little bit more than just go, rawr, I'm a tiger. Fascinatingly enough, one of the other beast gods just so happens to be a tiger, Mr. Byako, the white tiger, also known as the tiger of the West. West being the opposite to East, which may be important for wanky reasons, such as showing the dichotomy between Luffy and Kaido, East versus West, darkness versus dawn, and sad drunk versus happy meal. So it's interesting that tigers keep popping up wherever we go, but it's also important to note another option. One of the other four animal god dudes is of course Suzuku, the vermilion bird, which I feel like we do need to note because Luffy is currently exploring his bird phase and expanding his abilities into a more avian direction. So Gear 5th Suzuku might not be the most ridiculous idea of all time. I'm still gonna say that Gear 5th Hippoman probably takes that particular crown, but if you were curious, the last guardian is of course Gen the black tortoise who uh, seems like the least relevant of all at all times. Alternatively, there is a further deity who resides in the center known as the yellow dragon. However, this one only appears in Chinese mythology, who is essentially the zoomorphic incarnation of the yellow emperor at the center of the universe, who represents all sorts of stuff like the earth and the changing of seasons. Which if we really wanted to, we could draw all sorts of fun parallels, like Luffy being the changing generation, AKA the season, the yellow representing the light of the new dawn and all kinds 
kinds of internet theory crafting, which I, I will spare you from because it is completely raw speculation. I should say that I'm no expert in Japanese mythology or Chinese mythology or mythology or anything really. I honestly don't know why you all listen to me. So what I'm saying could sound like utter nonsense, like, like most One Piece theories, but I do feel like there's a clear escalation happening. Luffy is evolving beyond the most powerful animals in existence, like your gorillas and your lions. Those guys may have been enough to bring down a smug flamingo and a pelican eel, but dragon gods are pretty serious business. So if I had to put money on anything, and, and I guess I don't, so I won't, but it would be a new gear transcending what is known in this world. Transitioning, as Oda put it in his statement on Gear 5th, and transforming Luffy into something that is capable of bringing the Kaido Dragon God down. A battle between deities. Something that the people of Wano are still going to be talking about for thousands of years from now. But whatever that is, rest assured that we are going to know very, very soon. But to fill the time until then, here is another video. Because there's always more to learn, explore, and experience with this wonderful series, so I look forward to seeing you there.